What are we committed to? This is a good topic. It's a really good topic. What are we committed to? See, when we arrive in a, in a relationship or in a connection, in a couple, we start relating. It's like, what are the, the core values that we are really anchoring in the way we relate to each other? Mm -hmm. And um, yeah, where is that commitment? Is the commitment to a human being? Is it the commitment that to ourselves? You know, how do we relate to ourselves, to, I don't know, to our tribe, to the place where we live in, to our job, our career, our missions? Yeah. What comes to mind? Um, well, we had a conversation when we, I, I, kind of when we first started, when we first started dating round two, round, we, two. <laughs> round two, and um, it was actually one of the most beautiful conversations that I've ever had with a man because in that conversation we discussed, we just kind of put on the table that in reality, what we both are individually committed to is serving our highest truth. And, um, yeah, that means showing up for me, that means showing up in the world in alignment with what is really, really, really the most truth, taking the most truthful action in every way that I can, every moment of my life. And so in that, that meant that in our relationship, it only made sense for us to not necessarily be committed to each other, but be committed to serving that highest truth. Yeah. And also kind of in, in that, we've really kind of dedicated our relationship to that highest truth, to our own expansion, to growing, to learning. And that's been a beautiful journey. It's been very different yeah. than committing to a relationship and having that be the thing that is... Um, driving my decisions yeah that's a beautiful one um you know if i can give you an example for instance if <clears throat> if deep inside i know that i have to take off and be in the himalayas for three months by myself in a cave and that's coming from a really deep deep calling and then there is this woman here to who i'm relating what are what is it that i'm committed to am i committed right. to to sustaining the container of what we bring together or am i committed to what feels the deepest possible alignment inside of me yeah. and so being able to distinguish between those two realities is a uh, is an essential aspect an essential part of uh, being in harmony together because um it, it works really both ways you know if i see shelly taking a decision or i see you making a decision to do something that is significant in your own life yeah. and it's something that has been emerging in over the last two three months i see you engaging into a certain projects or certain things that i think are really precious and valuable to you uh, even if that takes something a little bit away from from our relating i'll be like just go for it, baby. It's yeah. really important for you to stick to, to what is real to you. Yeah. And if, for instance, at some point it means us no longer being lovers or, you know, you going in, in your own journey. So I fully support that in you and I support it in myself yeah. as well. And uh, the moments where we start entering into dissonance is the moment where we lose touch with that, right? Yeah, exactly. Where we are like, no, you're committed to me. Yeah. I, yeah. <laughs> it's about me. It's about this. Right, exactly. Is there a moment where you felt you felt like you were losing touch with your truth by putting us first? Yeah, that's definitely happened. And I go, it's like a process of really dropping in and always remembering like, wait, what's the truest? What am I really, really committed to? And the truth is I'm only committed to one thing. I'm committed to love, to the highest truth. Mm -hmm. And, um, but it's a challenge to, it's scary to be in relationship that way. It is, it's scary because, um, it's really open. It's me setting you free and you setting me free yeah. and saying, and also saying, I trust you to follow what's most real for you. And that's what I re when I, when I'm centered and when I'm in my truth, that's what I really want from you and for you mm -hmm. is for you to be living in your, your truth, whatever that is. And that may mean, separation or um, distance in our couple yeah but but I can also say that it feels 
uh, it's never felt more, that's the only thing I can be committed to. Like it feels so real and so right for us both to be committed to living our truest expression. Yeah, it's yeah. a beautiful one. Yeah. I encourage you to try it out <laughs> and uh, let us know how it goes. Yeah. Yeah, it's beautiful. Be committed to yourself, to your spirit, to your truth. And uh, if that creates resonance with between us, that's great. If that creates dissonance and it brings us in separate directions, that's, right. that's right. fine as well. Yeah, and I want to, can I say one more thing? Yeah, yeah. Um, what's interesting is we, by being committed to our own truth, we are constantly brought back together. Yeah. Like in that truth, there's been times where we're like, oh no, this is too hard. I'm out of here. I don't, I don't want to do this anymore. But truth brings us back. Which means there's something really juicy for our expansion to be here. And I, I have to surrender to that. And we both know that when this isn't like the juiciest, most expansive place for us to be, then we'll be called to move somewhere else. And it will probably happen for both of us at the same time. Or maybe not, you know, whatever the, the highest learning is. Yeah. But um, it's beautiful that that continues to happen it's I know, crazy I know, that it can, I know. it's just like we continue to be brought back together yeah. so it's beautiful yeah sometimes we're having breakfast and we're like oh my god we're still here yeah. you know <laughs> yeah it's really sweet so gorgeous we love you i'll see you soon bye bye